Hi, today I want to show you how to edit a karaoke file with Audacity. Basically, synchronize the lyrics with the audio track. Some time ago, I have created a video showing how to remove the vocal from a song. It doesn't only remove the vocal, it separates the vocal to its own track. So you can see this example. Here is the vocal track and here is the music so i if i run it then you you can hear what is happening so, the music, and here so if i play solo so you can hear the solo vocal so basically the good thing is you can see the words are sung here and if we use this tool to edit a karaoke lyrics, we can place the words or the syllable exactly at this word here. Most of the synchronization method is using hitting a key by listening to the song. For the fine tuning, is very difficult. I know Audacity allows you to add a label track. So here, label track and add label for example test you can export the label track to a file here export labels uh, but unfortunately that's not one of any karaoke format so you won't be able to find a player can play that so my initial idea was to convert the label file to a lrc format so uh, I don't know how to do that with the audacity so I went to the forum and asked people for help then I started the thread uh, at the beginning of 2020 uh, so I want to get something to convert the label file to a LRC file then I can find a player to play that so I got help from people so I started Someone suggested to write a plugin, and then I started to learn uh, Nyquist, uh, which is the language to write a plugin. After some attempts, I got something working, but then I hit on the wall that I found out that Nyquist doesn't support Unicode, uh, which means uh, I will be limited to certain languages and some language I won't be able to do, for example, Chinese and some other Asian languages. Then I was suggested to use Python to use other method to do that. And then there was a long discussion. Someone analyzed the problem and tried to help me. That was very nice of him. and. We got to a point that he has confirmed that the Windows version of Audacity cannot handle the Python script with the Unicode. So then I couldn't do anything. Basically, I can only wait until the problem is fixed. So that was two, March 2020. Then I didn't check the form for a while until 2021, March, and I came back to the same ID, so I went back to the forum and asked for update. Then there was a new release of Audacity, got it work. Now today I want to present my scripts. Okay, let's start editing the song. What you need is a audio track, is the music and the lyrics. So I assume you already got the vocal separated. Uh, if you don't know how to do this, you can watch the, my older video about the software, how to separate the vocal track. And the other thing is the lyrics, so, uh, but we need to uh, separate the syllables. You can do that manually, or uh, if you go to Google and search for online hyphenators or, or something like that, uh, there will be some website doing this. I found this one. I will put the link in the description. So if I paste the uh, lyrics here and click on the hyphenate my text, then you will see uh, happy is separated, birthday is separated, and 
and so you can copy this text and save it as a file somewhere and use it later. There are a few things very important. First one is you have to make sure you are using Audacity 3. Point something. And the next thing is you have to come to Preferences and go to Modules and change this to Mode Script Pipe Enabled. I think uh, by default it's new, so you have to make sure it's enabled here. The next thing is you need to have uh, Python installed. Uh, I'm not going to the details how to install Python. Uh, you can find plenty of instruction online. I'm using the Python version 3.75. Uh, I guess it will work with any other version 3. I haven't tried it. Now I'm going to call my script BB Labeler and then you have to put in the option minus F. After that you put the lyrics file. In this case I've already prepared a Chinese song. This is the lyrics file with all the dash between the syllable or in Chinese they are words. So you can see the dash already inserted. Now I just put the file here uh, after minus F. Now run the script. So you will see it's connected to the pipe here and it's a very simple menu here. I can display the lyrics using L. Then this is my lyrics. Okay, I have rearranged my windows a little bit. If you just type enter, you will see the main menu again. And now I'm going to add a new label track. Enter N. Now you can see the label track is on the top. Okay, how does this work? I've got the lyrics here. I'm going to mark the beginning of a line and the end of a line. So if I start with the first line, I will type 1. Then you can see the line here. If you type enter, you mark the beginning of the line. If you type enter again, it, you will mark the end of the line. So you will see here there are two signs here. Now it's uh, waiting for the mark of the beginning of the line. Okay. Let me start doing it and you know what I mean. So I'm going to play the music, listen to the mu music and when it starts singing I have to press enter. So let's give a little bit time here. Okay, I pause here. So you can see there are some label added here. I just put in two lines beginning at an end, beginning and end here. So if I enter M, go back to main menu, then look at the top here, something will happen over there. It, if I, as soon as I type M, now you can see there are lyrics are added here. So I just zoom in, mark the area, press Ctrl E. Now you can see here are the labels. The dollar sign is for the mark of the end of the line. So I can use this arrow to play the marked area. I can even reduce the speed if it's a little bit hard to do the timings. For example, I play here with the low. I can adjust uh, each single word, the duration. And if I want to move the whole word, I have to select on here and press shift. Then I can move the whole words, basically the beginning and the end. So for example, you can see here, this word is totally wrong. I need to move it to, to the front here and adjust a little bit. No, I'm not going to show you all this uh, fine tuning, but the one thing is you can save the project, then you can open it later and continue your work. 
So I save it for the moment. Okay, at the moment we have only got two lines, so we want to continue with the third line. Now I'm going to here and let's have a look at the lyrics. Now I'm going to use the third line here, so I put in number three. So you can see the line is ready here for marking the beginning, and so I have to play it. Okay, stop. And now main menu, then you start marking the line. So you can see the lyrics are added here. One thing I also want to mention, uh, because the Audacity label cannot have just a space in at the beginning of the end, that's the reason here the space is replaced by an underscore. And when we export it to the file, it will replace back into space. In the meantime, I'm going to pause the video and try to do some fine tuning. So, I have done some fine tuning on the lyrics. Now I can show you the preview. Press P and it will show you the lines in the label tracks. Let's start with the line number one. So I can press enter to stop it and of course I, if I want to check the other lines I can go to preview again. Let's say I go to line number four. That's how uh, you can check the synchronization. So the next step is we want to export it as a LRC file in order to play it in a karaoke player. So press X for export here. Now the file is exported. If I go to the directory where I run the script, uh, this is my file called lyrics demo. The reason is the file name comes from the my lyrics file here. In order to play it uh, on the karaoke player, I need to have the LRC file with the same name as the, my MP3 file. Now I need to rename it. I found a free player for LRC file, which is called Caravan uh, Player 2. If you know any uh, other free player can play LRC file, just put in the comments, let me know. Now I open the file here. Just click on the MP3, it will pick up the LRC file automatically because they have the same file name. Then click on play next song. So you can see the title here. For the demonstration, I'm using the MP3 file with the vocal track. So if you want to do karaoke, you have to use the background music track only. At the end, I want to give you some tips. What you can also do is copying a certain section of the lyrics and paste it in the later section of the song. Because uh, usually a song repeat the lyrics. In case you mess up a certain section, you can delete it, but don't use the normal delete because the label on the right hand side will shift to the blank space. You better use the Alt Control K, then it will leave the space here blank. So you can use the script to add the lyrics back into this space. And th there are a lot of other features, uh, but I don't want to go to all the details. You can check out this website. I will put the link in the description. My script is very simple. It's mainly written for myself. Uh, so if you encounter problem, just let me know. I 
guess there are plenty of bugs in the script. If you get into somewhere you, you don't know what to do, just break the script by pressing Ctrl C and run the command again, go back there. One thing you have to remember, just keep on saving your project. I hope you find this script useful. If you like the video, please give me a thumb up. Thank you for watching. Bye.